What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be doing a Jeremy Sohan gameplay. This is a guy that I got from a free pack. We're going to be doing gameplays of the guys we just got from free packs today because, well, I don't see the point in buying any of these and I don't advise any of you guys to buy any of them. I think it's very, you can get this challenge done very, very quickly, which is a really good thing. The, um, the agenda for the free card is very quick, so I would probably advise you to do that. And if you do go and get yourself, um... Jeremy Sohan, you've got a really good card. So Jeremy Sohan is a six foot eight point guard who's got an 88 three ball, an 88 mid range. He's also got a 95 driving dunk, really solid ball handle, really good passing IQ and 95 pass accuracy. That is Trey Young level. He's got 92 block, 94 seal, 94 perimeter and 94 interior with 90 speed, speed ball acceleration and 94 lateral quickness. He's also got those 20 Hall of Fame badges, including anchor, glove, post lockdown, Precision Dunker, Blow by Speed Booster, Fast Stick, Right Stick, or Fast Feet, Right Stick Ripper, Immovable Enforcer, and 94 Feet. So, like, this is your, like, budget Ben Simmons. This is your budget Ben Simmons. Is he going to offer exactly what Ben Simmons offers? But, like, you're not going to run Ben Simmons on the ball either. He's an off-the-ball player. He is your budget Dark Matter Ben Simmons, which is crazy thing. Like, honestly, a crazy thing because that Ben Simmons is a hell of a card. And you're basically getting a poor man's Ben Simmons. Release is good. Release is fine, because I actually didn't mind this release when it was on slow. Like, I thought even on slow it was pretty good. It's definitely better off the catch than off the dribble. But he's got a nice normal leaner. When he's wide open off the catch, he's going to hit almost everything. Shooting-wise, shooting badges-wise, he's still going to hit from decent enough distance, I think. If I'm not mistaken, he's got gold range extender. Yeah, so he's got all the gold shooting badges you need, which is pretty good. And he's got a nice behind the back. Doesn't have the greatest if you're looking to create with him, but that's not really what he's going to be. He's not the um, the greatest creator in the world at all. He has a one-handed free throw, which is actually pretty chick. I was surprised. I was pleasantly surprised by how good the free throw is. 90 rating as well. But his dunking's exceptional. His um, ability to play defense is going to be exceptional. He'll switch everything. Like with his rebounding, with his shooting, you'll be able to switch everything. Like yeah, he'll get like Wemby will probably. Wemby might take him, but like, if you're looking at his badges, what badge does he not have on um, on Hall of Fame to like help with him guarding bigs? Like he's got anchor and post lockdown, so he is a perfect switch everything point guard. And yeah, is he as tall as Ben Simmons, who's six foot ten? Is Ben Simmons six ten? I think he might be six ten this year. I think yeah. So like Ben Simmons is only six ten, so he's at the same wingspan, only two inches shorter than Simmons, and he's gonna give you a better jump shot similar level defense quite similar level speed and can be used in a similar way so i'm sorry like this is the budget ben simmons and do i think you should pay 50k for him look if you get him for free brilliant and if you are at a really high level and let's say you're in the highest bracket of spmm and you're sick and coming up against top tier players he's a guy that you can just put in the end of your bench i think 50k is a little bit much but if you've got over 300k I think this is probably the one card you should buy this week because 50k is a perfectly reasonable price for him. So anyway, now it's grand three. And now we're going to get on to a game. So I'm going to play clutch time because this guy is not really suited to play in 5v5 modes or say in 3v3 modes because you can get guys that just do a bit more on the offensive end while giving you similar on defense. His biggest thing is the fact that he's capable of matching up to anybody. So the lineup type of lineup you want to run him in is this. So he's obviously going to come in at the point guard position. The type of guy you want beside him is like a Corver. You want someone who can create, who's going to be your main man beside him and him just guarding your team's point guard. Small forwards, realistically, you can do whatever you want with a small forward position. I like to run just pure defenders, um, but I also want to make sure my icons are okay. So I'm going to put in Rudy Gay. Um, power forward, I really like Tyler Hansbro. And in center, I'm going to put in... I, re I like both Dino and Evan Mobley. I'm going to play Mobley for now. Power forward centers, again, it's all just preference. It is all just preference when it comes to them. And I don't think height is as big a factor on the offensive end as it used to be. Obviously, like, on the defensive end, it's absolutely crazy. Um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully we can find a game pretty quickly. Because, yeah, it's just... I can't believe we're in May. And, like... Finding games immediately is not a thing, which is kind of wild. But yeah, let's see what we are up against right here. We're playing against Derek White, Tyrese Halliburton. Okay, so we completed all the ones. Oh, we're playing Tree Man. 
We're playing the we're playing tree man in the middle. I'm fine with the lineup that I have against him anyway. Okay, so honestly, the best way to use him is I'm just gonna put in five out. The best way to use him is like you can use him in a pick and roll scenario like this. It's a dumb play by me. He actually did all right as far as getting open. I just stupidly decided to throw the lob instead of just throwing a regular pass. It's on me. Good shot there by his um, Chris Middleton. All right, so I'm going to use him with a roll man to start it off and kind of run through Corver. Should have shot it. I'm shooting that one, though. There we go. All right, let's see what way he wants to do it. I can switch everything. So it's not... Don't forget that. That you can switch everything with this guy. I can switch everything, honestly, with this whole team. Oh, I jump. Why did I jump? There was no need for that. Are you using the pop right now? He is open off that, and I should be green. There we go. That release is so smooth. Like, it's just assumed that when a guy has a release on slow, that it's going to be bad when it's on very quick. Like, I didn't mind so on's release on slow. Like, I use that Ruby or that Sapphire Sewing quite a lot in salary cap and stuff. And the release was fine. It's a dumb shot. There's no way he hits with Halliburton, right? Let's go. Let's push. Get into Corvus hands. Keep her on the left wing because he's going to leave you open. That's a decent enough hand there. Shouldn't have been 100, but still. Probably shouldn't have shot, tried to shoot through that contest. Hands up. Good job. Let's push. Good thing about this team is that anyone can push the ball. And we go and... That's a bad shot to miss. That is a bad shot. Like, if he's not hugging the three-point line, it can be a bit awkward to time that release because that felt like a really bad slowdown. And he had good stamina. was wide open. So I'm guessing if he's not hugging the three-point line, it can be difficult enough. Okay, his one threat is Middleton. Oh, why? That's fine. Someone's in there. Two of you guys play good defense there. Let's go six seconds. We can get a good stop here. Who's inbounding? Tree man. Okay, I just don't. He's not going to go back into center. Good defense, Mick. Let's push. Hook that left wing zone. Right down the middle. They're not guarding you. Easy dunk. Okay, we're good. We're good. Just get bumpy. It's a good shot if it goes in. Somebody, If somebody decides to go to the post fade and they make it, fair play. I'll always give credit where credit's due for that. And so and steps in for the easy shot. That release is so smooth. Like, of all these, like, big point guards, Sean Livingston is the best release. I will say, Sean Livingston has the better release. But Sean Livingston doesn't play defense or rebound or guard bigs like Sohan does. Other than Sean Livingston, he does have the next, I'll say it, he has the next best release. And also, like, he is built like a power forward. He's, like, a much better version of... You know that, like, pink diamond Denny Avdia? He's a much better version of him. Okay, let's see what they're looking to throw. They're going up high. They can drop in right here with Psycho T. Is he shooting with tre Tree Man? It's fine. If he gets it off, it should be your board, so on. Nope, Evan Mobley comes across. These, like, long, skinny players. I'm a big fan of them in this game this year. So one from deep. And that is another three-point shot for Jeremy Soan. I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on him. Do not sleep on this man right here as he hits another three-pointer. And he's got play take. Which, again, if you're playing unlimited, can be the most overpowered takeover in this entire game. We're good. Let's see what they're looking for. That's a terrible shot. Big board zone. He can kind of push it in transition a little bit with that behind the back. Like that's just dumb defense from him reaching, but it's not the it's not a great behind the back, but there are worse behind the backs in transition. Like Harden's in transition is terrible. But it's not like staff level. Okay, we're good. 
We're good. Just stay on him. He's just spamming one dribble move over and over again. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I got, the steal was there, and I still reached for it even after he um, after he pulled, he did the crossover, which was pointless. Was absolutely no need. Like the only thing that was gonna happen, the best case scenario was a foul. He could have burned me. Oh, he burned them there. Good take. And now you guys get to see the free throw. You guys get to see the so and free throw. It's actually surprisingly good. Like, it does look awkward, but, like, as I miss a free throw on 90% chance. It's not that bad timing. Okay, we're good. Good job getting over the screen. Ter oh, my God. That's a horrible call. That's an absolutely horrible call, referee. End Corvus hands. I don't want him in a pop scenario. Because he's going to leave him open. Fake. I'm going to see if I can just play the back down game. Drop step here. Nope. It's just, it's genuinely too hard to do anything in the post in this game. Defenders will just stand on you. So I'm running right in and forcing the... Uh, I think hands broke at the block in the end, but... All from Sohan's defense. And now Mobley is on the line. But what a game there from Jeremy Sohan. Like, I know Corver had three. Did Sohan have 17? Yeah. Give me baseline. Give me corner. I think that might be green. Yes, it is. That's 20 for uh, Jeremy Sohan. He was way better than I thought as far as creating goes. But yeah, like... This man's poor man's Ben Simmons. That's basically it. And not even poor man's Ben Simmons. He is the uh, non-gambling Ben Simmons. That's that's all he is. He is non-gambling Ben Simmons. If you do want a Ben Simmons type card, if that's the way you like to run your point guards, outside of Simmons, this guy is probably the next best. And that includes 100 overall Magic Johnson. He's better than 100 overall Magic. I haven't used 100 overall LeBron. He might be in there. But as far as like the out and out point, if you just want a big point guard, he's going to be better than your Oscar Robertson. Trust me on that, if that's what you were looking for. 